greetings from talent battle hello everyone i am rohit welcome to our new video in this video we are going to solve the previous year pseudo code questions for accenture drive this video will help you to prepare for it also you can join our master class training where we are going to cover all these previous year questions also join our social media handles like our telegram groups instagram page whatsapp group and we are constantly updating the placement pre preparation updates and off campus updates too links for all these handles are given in the video description so before start don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and press the bell icon for instant notification about our videos so let us start with the actual content in this video we will be discussing about the pseudo code questions so first question read it carefully and then try to predict the output of this what will be the value of the following pseudo code so they have provided with the pseudo code with us and you have to check what is the output of this pseudo code so first they have provided with the integer xy and they have given a for condition here that for each x from 1 to 11 so this loop is going to traverse for this particular values of x from 1 to 11 and inside the loop we have this statement x is equals to x plus 2 so whatever the current value of x it will be it is going to increment by 2 and then at the end after completion of the for loop we have to print the value of x so to predict the output what will be the output in this case now as my x is going to be from 1 to 11 so in the for loop x will start from 1 and it will execute till 11 and x will be getting incremented by 1 in every iteration because of the for loop syntax now inside the loop also we have the statement x is equals to x plus 2 so every time x will be increased by 2 every time x will be increased by 2 here in this case x is equals to x plus 2 and also incremented by 1 with the help of this condition of for loop so finally we can say the value of x will be incremented by 3 thrice will be incremented by 3 means thrice the actual value hence after every iteration the value of x will be like this 4 7 10 and 30 so final value is going to be 13 here so option d is the correct answer for this question you can do cross check also by step by step executing but if you analyze this logic that it is going to increase by 2 due to this statement and iteration will increment it by 1 so thrice it is going to get incremented so easily within less time you can solve this and the option d is the correct answer for this final value of x will be 30 let's move on to the next question now check this what will be the value of the following pseudo code they have provided with two integer variables here j and m and m is equals to 1 and j is equals to 1 right so suppose i am having m here whose value is 1 and we have another variable j that is value is also 1 and we have an array as well given a of 3 which is equals to 0 1 0 0 1 0 right so according to the index position if i say this is my a of 0 this is my a of 1 and this is my a of 2 right like this a of 0 a of 1 and a of 2 now calculate this a of 0 because they are calculating a of 0 a of 1 and a of 2 on the behalf of previous values what we have and then we are checking with the condition so if you analyze this case right if i uh, invest certain time here in calculation but if you check this remaining pseudo code here you will come to know that the if condition is checking for a of 0 right so suppose after considering my array that we have 0 1 0 and we perform the set of addition operations right this that a of 0 will be calculated a of 0 is equals to a of 0 plus a of 1 so a of 0 is 0 plus a of 1 is 1 then I am calculating a of 1 here a of 1 is equals to a of 1 that is 1 plus a of 2 that is 0 so this is also be 1 and again a of 2 is also calculated that is a of 2 
right now 0 plus a of 0 newly calculated a of 0 is 1 so that is 1 so after performing all these three cases my array becomes 1 1 1 all the elements are now updated and all the values are going to be 1 1 1 now if I check this condition a of 0 if so if a of 0 is 1 so this is a positive number so this condition will be true in this case the if condition will become true and and in that case my a of j is equals to 5 right so hence a of 1 if I am saying because j is also 1 so a of 1 is going to be 5 here and then I am calculating finally m so m is equals to 1 plus 5 this is equals to 6 right so option c is the final answer for this particular question so in this way you can deal with such kind of pseudocode questions now let us discuss the next question here what will be the output of the following pseudocode now what is provided check integer a and b a is said to be 0 here and n is equals to 0 again right so if i uh, write it down a is said to be 0 n is said to be 0 in this case and for each n from 0 to n, 0 to 4 sorry, so n is going to be 0 to 4 and we are calculating n is equals to n plus 1 and we are going to check this condition. So now here n is equals to 0 actually and when you calculate n is equals to n plus 1, my n will become 0 plus 1 that is equals to 1 and if I am checking if condition 1 equals to 3, this is going to be false. So it is not going to get print this case if condition uh, false and jump out of the loop so loop is also not going to get executed so you are printing the value of n here right what is the value of n updated that is 1 so option b 1 is the answer so here n is actually initialized to 0 in the for loop and n is equals to n plus 1 will going to update the value of n as n is equals to 1 now where n is not equals to 3 the else part will be executed where jumping off out of the loop is given so that will be executed and finally print value of n so current value that is 1 that will be printed so your final answer will be 1 here option b let us move to the next question what will be the output of the following pseudo code for the value of a is given 4 and b is equals to 8 now here the value of a and b is already given to us right so we have to utilize that same value whatever is given and according to that try to check which condition will be executed because multiple if conditions are given here so initially my a value is 4 and b value is 8 right then i will check inside this function a is greater than b now this particular block is going to be false because a is not greater than b so definitely this block will be executed and b is greater than a yes 8 is greater than 4 so true and when it is true we are going to execute the statement a is equals to a x or b so this is an exclusive or condition bitwise operator what is the value of a 4 and if i take conversion of this 4 to the binary i get 0 1 0 0 what is the value of b b is equals to 8 convert it to binary so you will get 1 0 0 0 and performing xor operation on this i will be getting 1 1 0 0 which is converting out to be 12 so now my updated a becomes 12 over here and then you calculate a plus b so a is a plus b will be calculated like 12 plus 8 b value is 8 here so that is going to be 20 so my final answer is option b that is 20 in this case right so xor operation if you are aware about that and proper if condition if you check you will come to know that which if condition is going to be executed and you will decide that respective operation let us move to the next question see. how many times a will be printed in the provided pseudo code now here nested for loop is given to us right now if you check the condition outer for loop if i take into consideration outer loop where my value of a will be from 0 to 4 right and in inner for loop inner loop my value of b will be from 0 to 2 a equals to 0 to 4 and b is equals to 0 to 2 now as we know that for outer condition one condition for outer loop inner for loop is going to get executed for all the valid cases and inside the inner for loop we are checking the condition if a is greater than b then we have to print a and what is our final expected results that how many times a is printed 
so we need to identify the count that how many times a will be printed right so let's go and check that uh, particular step by step execution how it is going to be happen so for example a is equals to 0 now for this case my inner for loop will work for three conditions b is equals to 0 b is equals to 1 and b is equals to 2 now here the condition a is greater than b is false right so no a will be printed in this case the next time a will become 1 for this condition of outer for loop my inner for loop will execute again three times b is equals to 0 b is equals to 1 and b is equals to 2 but here the condition is true so i am getting a here as an output then for next case when a will become 2 again b will be executed for 0 b will be executed for 1 b will be executed for 2 and two times my condition of greater than will be positive so a will be printed two times then next a will become 3 here so when a is 3 again my b will work three times b is equals to 0 b is equals to 1 b is equals to 2 and all the cases my a will be printed right because it is satisfying the condition for all the cases of a is greater than b because b is 2 maximum 2 right and the last case where a is equals to 4 again my b condition will be execute for 0 for 1 and for 2 and all, all the three cases it is going to print a so check how many times after that outer for loop will be terminated so no execution now how many times count that a is printed 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 times a will be printed see the answer option c is the correct answer for this right so i hope you understand all the questions and the logic behind that thank you for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel thank you